black holes are mysterious objects. Not only do they defy everyday understanding about the universe and how it works, but they've even confound even the most complex mathematical models. They are described as gravitational behemoths that warp space-time so much that not even light can escape its boundary. This is known as the event horizon. But what exactly lies inside of a black hole? Well, you might argue, it doesn't really matter. Everyday physics does not really apply across the boundary of the event horizon. But basically, what goes on inside a black hole's event horizon has actually caused a theoretical problem. A new idea that might bring together the laws of quantum mechanics and gravity. This would extinguish the tricky firewall situation, and therefore finding a solution to the information paradox. Stephen Hawking published a short academic paper declaring that there are no black holes. Of course, Hawking wasn't actually saying that black holes didn't exist, but that the overall physics of the black hole's event horizon needs some tweaking. When tackling this problem on whether or not black holes destroy information, they found that if black holes do not destroy information, that information can then escape through the evaporation of the black hole via Hawking radiation. There must be a raging inferno just inside the event horizon called the firewall. And here lies the paradox. If we view a black hole as an object governed by general relativity, then should an unfortunate astronaut be dragged across its event horizon, they shouldn't experience anything out of the ordinary. The astronaut will simply just drift through into the black hole where eventually intense tidal forces spaghettify them. But if we view black holes governed by quantum mechanics and they conserve information, that astronaut will immediately get destroyed by the firewall. These two theories are symptomatic to our growing unease of the compatibility of quantum mechanics and general relativity. And black holes have become the front line of this battle. Perhaps the black hole's event horizon isn't a definite boundary that theoretical physicists think it is. Perhaps the event horizon should be replaced with an apparent horizon, a consequence of chaotic mess of information inside of the event horizon. The controversial view of black holes is that it is composed of two key components, the singularity and the event horizon. Anything else is just details. The event horizon is the distance from the singularity where the gravitational forces are so strong not even light can escape. The singularity is an infinitely dense point where all the matter of the black hole is concentrated. However, the singularity assumes that there is no quantum structure that can compete with the inward forces created by gravity. And here is where we spot the problem. Yes, once again, the black holes became the background for quantum mechanics and gravity. This gives a potential solution to the firewall problem. By throwing out the concept of singularity and replacing it with an extreme class of star, the Planck star. Looking at this problem from a different perspective, you can look at models of a collapsing universe. The opposite to a Big Bang is known as the Big Crunch. The fundamental quantum structure of the universe prevents an infinitely dense singularity from forming. The collapse of the universe therefore reaches a fundamental density, causing a universal collapse to rebound or bounce. Does this mean that we can use a similar model to describe a black hole? If a massive star explodes into a supernova, creating a black hole in its wake, what if the superdense material that formed the black hole actually didn't form a singularity? Of course the material would be incredibly dense, but the object in the core of the black hole still has its structure. The inward force of gravity is counteracted by the quantum structure of the Planck density. We therefore have to assume that matter can be compressed at these scales. This is a better alternative than simply disappearing into an infinitely dense singularity. This contraction stops at the Planck density, and this creates a Planck star. Its collapse and bounce would occur rapidly. From the perspective of a Planck star, it will be a very short-lived affair. But to the outside observers elsewhere in the universe, 
as space-time surrounding the Planck star gets extremely warped, time dilation makes the black hole seem static and unchanged. Over time, as the black hole loses mass to Hawking radiation, and the Planck star continues to expand after the rebound, the event horizon of the black hole will slowly contract, eventually reaching its surface of the Planck star contained within. All of the information the black hole ever consumed over its lifetime will suddenly be released to the universe. And by this, it solves the information paradox. a link in the description about an academic paper on Planck stars. Also I put in the description the definition of the word spaghettification. This is a word that was actually created for something that falls into a black hole. Pretty cool.